We are honoring Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Jr. on this particular day, 55 years ago. He was assassinated in Memphis, Tennessee. As we take a look back at his legacy here in Metro Atlanta, there is a bright light shining on his efforts for supporting black businesses. 11 Alive's Karis Belger looks at how local organizations are picking up the mantle. Our mission is to passionately set the standard for economic and development um, here in the Old Fourth Ward. Shanae Joseph is the CEO of the Historic District Development Corporation with the goal to build a community that offers equitable access to opportunities for all stakeholders in the Sweet Auburn neighborhood. She says empowering black businesses and black business owners is key to keeping Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s legacy alive. Coretta Scott King founded this organization to ensure the non-displacement of black people within the Martin Luther King Historic District. As part of its arts and culture program, HDDC works to support black artists at the Hogabrooks Gallery on Auburn Avenue. The the space was originally part of a funeral home that Geneva Morton Hogabrooks founded in 1929. Joseph says today the space is still one of the most distinguished business anchors in the corridor, echoing the sentiment of King's last speech about investing in black businesses and building a greater economic base. We are not given the opportunities on a level playing field, you know, access to capital or given the support in the way of resources and things that we need for our community. Melvin Coleman, CEO of Atlanta Black Chambers, agrees, saying policy change is also key to honoring King's call for economic growth in the black community. Uh, we've got to stay committed, committed to doing whatever you can do as an individual in the decisions that you make. In Atlanta, Karis Belger, 11 Alive News.